What is up, my Squirtleites? It is I, your king. Welcome back to more Pokemon Legends Arceus. In the last episode, we finally made it here to the Alabaster Icelands. We met up with Irida's teacher, Garrick, who we had a little bit of a battle with, and he turned out to be kind of, uh, well, kind of useless, if I'm being honest. So who we're actually in pursuit of now is a girl from the Diamond Clan known as Sabi, who is just up over that, in that direction, um, 340 meters away, and I actually need to take this pin off of my map but yeah uh, she's up there and we're supposed to track her down but i am taking a little bit of a roundabout way of doing so as we explore just a bit to see what we can find around here um it's actually worth checking out some of these areas because we're going to actually run into some pretty interesting pokemon as long as we're careful with uh where we actually go is now is that the alpha blissey i don't think it is but I do know what's over there. I think an Alpha Blissey sometimes spawns here, but it hasn't at the moment. Now, I guess, I guess I probably should do this at the very least, because the one good thing about Blissey, especially if you take it down, is that Blissey has a ridiculously high experience value yield. And you, I should have got the backstrike, because that thing is probably, it was, well, it didn't run away, but it could have very well run away. And uh, this is going to get a lot of experience for the entire team. Strong style might have been overkill, if I'm being honest. But you'll see. Holy cow! Almost everybody got a I mean, like, three of them got a level up, and a bunch got really close. So, yeah. If you're uh, done catching those, be sure to actually fight them, because it is absolutely worth your time. Also, oh, come back. Thank goodness I was able to get that before it went to daytime. I mean, it's not that you can't see them during the day. They're just, you have to be right next to them during the day for them to pop up. So, let's start climbing back up here. And there it is. That's what I'm, that's what I was looking for. Okay, that right there. That is, if I am not mistaken, the strongest alpha Pokemon in the entire game. And I, even though it's going to be a very futile effort, I'm going to do all that I can to try to catch this thing. It's not going to be easy, but it would be oh so cool. So with you, I definitely want to throw a mushroom cake. Now you just go and munch on that. And, or don't? Okay, I thought you were going to eat that. Hmm. Well, that's a little bit of a problem. Oh, he's running at me. Okay, back up, back up, back up, back up. I thought he was going to eat that. Hmm. All right, well, we'll stay back. We'll stay back. We'll, we'll reapproach. We'll have to think of a different plan here. I'm going to throw that, get it out of my inventory. Let's see. Okay, a reapproach with smoke bombs in tow. And there is a gibble hanging around it. I think there's a gabite that hangs around it, too. But the Garchomp is always an alpha. And I guess, if you want a lot of experience, hitting this thing with an Ice-type attack is also pretty good sometimes. I'll throw that one. See if that one, may you like it? Maybe? We'll try a Grain Cake next. How about... Yeah, try that one now. Maybe? There we go! Okay, so Grain's the answer. That's really odd. I'm actually shocked it's Grain. Because Mushroom cakes are specifically for dragons but let's see if this works nope 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 and i have found the wrong ride pokemon okay we're gonna try this a couple of times until i can get this to work or i, I guess after a couple i'll just give up <laughs> i mean that was kind of the the implication there we can always give this a shot later we're definitely going to make it work at some point Whoo, that was close but Eventually, oh, this might actually happen. Got it! Oh my gosh, level 80 freaking 5. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. That is a massive, massive level game. And I got that on the second try. Wow. Uh, definitely try to get that if you can. I was incredibly tempted to grab it right off the bat just because um, it honestly might be better to have over... Oh, gosh dang it. 
Can't believe that didn't freaking count. Love it when it just goes bonk and it doesn't work. Um, but anyway, yeah. Uh, I was really, I'm really tempted. Get off of that. Really tempted to get it because I might end up using Garchomp as a replacement for Gligart. Maybe. We're going to see how lucky we get with ra the Razor Fang and, and getting myself a... Getting myself the MP that I need for it and all that, but... I mean, we're playing a frickin' and also there is a ram... Oh, there's the Gabite that I was thinking of, okay. Uh, but yeah, it's... <sighs> Garchomp is just like a Sinnoh staple, man. It's like, you gotta have one. And I'll definitely have one. I mean, don't get me wrong. I My plan here is that once we get to a certain point in the game, this team is not gonna be the only thing that we're using. We're gonna switch things around a little bit because... We obviously need to t tackle all sorts of different tasks to level up our Pokedex even further. We're gonna get to level 10 in this playthrough. There's no question we're not. And it gets harder and harder to get to that point the more you play. So, and the closer you get to level 10, it takes a lot longer. Alright, let's head up. And now, whoop, we're gonna start scaling down and kind of going over these mountains. As you jump down, Sneasler. Like so. You should be fine this way. If you head in here, you'll notice there is an Electabuzz, Alpha Electabuzz, and an Elekid. I don't think we've caught an Elekid. And I've definitely fought Electabuzz, but I haven't caught one. Let's see. Don't to Oh, you piece of crap. Gosh dang it. The, the way that they just suddenly just randomly turn around. You know what? Have that. You can have this one, Electabuzz, because I'm sick of your crap. What are you going to do, though? You going to do a Giga Impact? Of course you are. Yikes. Okay, well, that gives me an opportunity to attack you a couple of times. So let's use Mud Bomb. And don't miss, please. Thank you. And then, uh, screw it. Why not one more? Because I'm just going to take you down, then. You're going to be like that. I'm, I'm perfectly content with catch, catching a regular Electabuzz at the moment, especially since I actually got that Electivire already. Okay. I do want to catch the Elekid, though. Stop looking. What do you mean, don't have space? Oh, the spoiled Apricorn. I don't give a crap about that. Um, I'm going to use this Experience Candy L, as well as the M... And then we also got a Grit Pebble here, so I might as well use that on... What should I use that on? The Yellow Speed, sure, why not? Is there anything else? Let's see, a Grit Gravel, maybe? No? Oh, oh yep, yep, Hubert definitely needs a little bit of TLC in that department. What did I get here? I got an Oval Stone as well, that's kind of funny. Alright, well, let's keep going, I'm not going to bother with that so let's hope that this works there we go elekid has been caught now let's actually catch this electabuzz please how from that distance really and ugh, it, it keeps switching to sneezler i want to be on weird deer go away electabuzz also oh there's another one over here i could catch this one maybe but that one's like way out of cover Hmm. I'm going to chance this, but watch, it's probably going to turn as soon as I come close. Because of course it is. Because of course it is. Every freaking time. I swear, it's like clockwork. Okay, I'm going to go over into this grass first. I'm going to try to sneak my way across and hit it with the Ultra Ball. Okay, waiting for you to turn. There we go. Go, 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 go. Perfect. Got it. All right. Hopefully that works. And it does. Beautiful. That's what I wanted. And hey, oh, Ryolu's here. Oh, Ryolu. I love Ryolu. You know what I love even more, though, is what you evolve into, which is Lucario. You just sit still. Let me catch you. Gotcha. And there is another one added to the collection. I know there's an Alpha Lucario somewhere in this game. I just can't remember exactly where it's at. Um, it might be further up the cliffs, maybe, possibly. It's somewhere. Let's catch that one, too. There we go. Alright, I'm gonna go past all of these Machoke. 
because you can actually go right through the cave here. This is just kind of a throughway out here. And let's grab that as well. And then we can go do some climbing to get to Sabi after I grab myself a few more apricorns. Is that another Electabuzz? Actually shocked. I didn't know there was any on this side. Now let's head up here. Okay, that is a ways up, isn't it? All right, well, we can definitely use Sneasler for this. And you notice that this, the Alabaster Icelands has all, just a mishmash of a lot of the exclusive uh, items that you can only get in certain places. Like, it's got the, the pop pods, it's got the, the cliff thingies, it's got the salt, it's got all that stuff. It's, it's kind of uh, interesting in that regard. What's up, Sabi? Akari! You made it all the way up here in this cold, but the question is, did you catch me, or did I let myself get caught? Hmm. Oh, and one more thing. Am I even really clairvoyant? Uh, no idea. <laughs> hmm. No one but me could really know, right? Anyway, the challenge continues. The next stop is our merry, of our merry chase is Snow Point Temple. But the real question here is, am I really having fun playing with you, or am I bored? Hmm. Let's go, Braviary! So now we're going to have to head off all the way to Snow Point Temple, which, if you look from where we're at, as soon as this little cutscene without the, you know, scene part ends, we can see that, yep, we need to go all the way over there, and it's a long ways away. But, if I take a look at the map here really quickly, um, I think I can go up over that in direction a little bit, but not a lot of it. There's also a crowbat flying around here, which is cool. But I, I want to say there's a couple of interesting Pokemon up on these cliffs that we can maybe get our hands on. Maybe. I just, I think there's something at the top of the falls. That's the only thing I want to check for. But I'm not 100% on that. Let's see. Maybe not. Maybe I'm thinking of a different part of the map. You know what? I pretty, I'm pretty sure I am. Because this right here is just the end of Journey. And it and it fades out just like Journey too. Wow. Just without the pretty music. I mean, the music here is not bad. It's just it's not always present, obviously. Well. I guess if there is nothing up here. Uh, oh, there is! I knew it! I knew it! I knew it! I knew it! I knew there was something up here. I, I freaking knew it. I totally called it. I was right all along. Gosh dang it. Gosh dang it. Try that. Maybe you'll like it. Cool. Okay. Now. Please work. Please work. Yes! Haha! <laughs> First try. Beautiful. And a level 70 Lucario. Not level 80 freaking 5 like the Garchomp. But level 70 ain't half bad. Still better than everything we have on the team. Obviously, even the Garchomp isn't really... I mean, is a little bit stronger. Maybe the Garchomp's a little bit stronger than all my team members. But the Lucario sure ain't because it hasn't had probably like hardly any EV uh, increases. So uh, that one I wouldn't really write home about too much. But obviously, we could give it a lot of grit, dust, and gravels, and pebbles, and all that kind of stuff to make it a bit stronger. But they would—they are absolutely going to be Pokemon they are going to be using in the future. Because so much about what makes Legends Arceus interesting actually comes once you're kind of done with the main story here. And, uh, I mean, don't get me wrong. It's the, the main story. I mean, it's like, you know, it's a thing. It's there. But it's really the aspect of just playing the game for what it is that I think is what makes Legends Arceus so strong. That hunting for tasks, that trying to... You know, you're basically a, oh gosh, oh geez, oh I'm I, I'm I'm slipping. I can't s switch to Sneasler. You know what? It all worked out just fine. We are absolutely okay. Anyway, um, yeah, just uh, taking on the test and basically being a Pokemon researcher is like the most fun part of the game. It really is. And I apparently can't pick up Aspir berries. Really? Well, I can fix that. Hold on. I, know I meant to discard more than one. I can discard the balls of mud too. I'm going to use the Experience Candy M on Adam. And pick that up. Thank you. I don't think we've ever gotten an Aspir Berry before. But we want those. Uh, not that they're super necessary. They just uh, get rid of the Frostbite effect. But 
It's still something. So let's go on past here. We're going to kind of go through Avalug's legacy. I want to see. I swear there's an Avalug around here. An alpha one. I want to keep an eye out for it. I know there's a lot of Bergmites. I swear that maybe, maybe the alpha the alpha Avalug doesn't appear until later though. Which would make sense. Okay, I need to get myself some of those uh, radishes. Which, uh, I, if I remember correctly, we're going to start to run into them up here a ways. Possibly. I actually don't remember where we get those. But up we go, and, and we get in here. We have a pearl settlement, much like we did, like, much like we had a diamond settlement in the Crimson Mirelands. And uh, there are people to talk to here. But I don't think there's really anything to do in particular until a little bit later. So we're just going to kind of move on through. I don't want medicinal leaks. I want... Snur I mean, I, I, I would be totally fine with going and just straight up buying them if I absolutely have to. But I know they're out here. Also, there is a satchel. And I should probably be checking for those. The last one is over. Actually, the last two... Excuse me, are over by the lake, which we'll get those a little bit later. But by the way, yeah, these look at these pile of swine. Swine up, just chilling in the hot springs. Love it. Absolutely love it. This honestly is a way cooler settlement, though, than the one the diamond, diamond has. Because theirs is just kind of just in the bog. And meanwhile, here, it's like, no, we got, like, hot springs. And it's all, like, this cozy, these cozy snow cabins. And it's freaking cool, man. It's freaking cool. So we gotta climb to get up here. You gotta use Sneasler to get all the way up. At least for now. Well, you, you still kind of do. But, and, and always will. But, I mean, like, you know. It makes sense that the Pokemon that you were using in the last area is now useful over in this area to an extent. And I keep switching off of my Pokemon. So in this area, you can also get yourself a few new interesting Pokemon like Rufflet. Down there. If I can get close enough. Crap. That was bad. There we go. Let's get that back strike. Wing ball does the trick. We also have Bronzong up here. I'm going to get a few of these Rufflet if I can. Because I would very much like a particularly strong one. If possible. I'll go on over towards the temple in a moment. There is a Kadabra there. I'll have to get... Oh, there's two Kadabra, actually. Let's see if we can catch a couple of these. There's one back strike. Come on. No. Am I spotted? I am spotted. Are you going to come over my way? Yes, you are. Well, fine then. Come here, Genevieve. Take on this stupid Kadabra who decided that they wanted to pick a fight with the wrong person. We're just going to use Shadow Ball. Because I think that's the play. I think I'm supposed to use Ghost Moves on Cadavers for the task. Not uh, Dark-type moves. Maybe? I actually don't know. I could check that. Uh, oh, Bug-type moves. Wow, that's not the one I was expecting. The weakness I was planning on using. Okay, into the grass, into the grass. Maybe I can sneak up on this guy. Look the other way. There you go. Well, kinda. Oh, 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 oh. Erratic movements. That wasn't really a back strike. Please. Oh, we got it anyway. Cool. I will take it. And then there's another one up ahead. And some Chinglings next to it. That's cute. I think it's funny that Chinglings here, but Chimeco's in the area we were in before. Oh, don't go away. There's a back strike. That's not a back strike, but it should be good. Because it is just chingling. Yeah, they are a Prevo after all. And we also got more Rufflet. I, just got, I gotta get close enough, but not too close. Turn around, you little jerk. I'm creeping. Okay, we got it. Cool. 
Okay, we're doing good here. Uh, where is... Oh, and another one literally just spawned in. That's kind of funny. No, it's not a back strike. I couldn't throw it fast enough, but that's okay. All right, that'll probably do. I think it's because the time changed, and then it, like, re-decided, like, where all of the spawns were at. Um, I went past it, didn't I? I sure did. Okay. Go over here. I'm gonna just run right past you. Yeah, it's up on the ridge. That makes sense. And now, if I can... There's a lot of rufflet flying over the water here. That's kind of funny. Um, oh, that one's down below, isn't it? I believe it is. What is swimming in here, though? Oh, Basculin. Okay, well, I'm not going to worry about Basculin too much. It can just kind of do its own thing. They're all scared of me anyway. More Chingling, more Rufflets. I think I already caught three Rufflet, which is more than enough. There's a... Ooh, there's an Alpha Chimeco. Hello. Would not mind getting one of those. And then also in this stone down here, I bet you it's like a golem or something. Wait, nothing popped out. It was shaking, but nothing popped out. I'm so confused. That was so weird. Okay. Uh... Alrighty. For you, I might want to throw... Honey cakes. Let's find out. Oh, Chingling's gonna get there first. Oh, never mind. How about salt cakes? Nope. How about mushroom cakes? That was a terrible place to throw that. That's the answer. And there is no way I'm going to be able to get around to this without getting caught. Maybe, possibly. Oh my gosh, it's going to work. Let's see. Come on. No. Are you kidding me? Oh, son of a gun. Why are you harder to catch than the frickin' Lucario? Got it! Okay, well that did it. That was a little bit of a strange way to do it, but it worked, and I definitely want that experience candy L once again, having to free up space. What are you... I just... I just discarded it. I just discarded it. Thank you. Oh my goodness. Apparently that is the hardest thing in the world to do. Holy cow. Okay, I think we've done enough in the way in you know in terms of catching alphas and stuff. Let's go back towards the temple. And I think once we get to the entrance there, we can call this an episode. Guys, thank you all so very much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed this episode very, very much. Next episode, we're gonna meet with uh, Sabi who is going to probably give us Braviary to use. I don't know. That would be my assumption just based on all the things that have happened up to this point thus far. But I obviously don't want to jump to conclusions or anything because, uh, well, you guys might, like, take that as being spoilerific or something. I don't freaking know. And uh, didn't mean to do that, but whatever. We'll worry about it in the next episode. Guys, thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you all then.